Today's video features turtles that will definitely not fit in your home fish tank. These are the undisputed titans of the turtle world from a species that's big from birth to the biggest turtle living today. Let's dive in and take a closer look at the lives of these majestic animals. The Australian Flatback Sea Turtle. Let's kick things off with one exceptional creature from down under. Found only in the shallow waters, the Australian Northern Continental Shelf, as well as Southern New Guinea, the Australian Flatback is known for its most distinctive feature. That being a carapace that is significantly flatter than other sea turtles. Measuring 38 inches long and weighing an average of 198 pounds, they aren't the most massive turtles out there. Their babies, however, are a different story. Australian flatback hatchlings are in fact enormous compared to hatchlings of all other sea turtles. They are primarily carnivores, gorging down on other sea creatures like mollusks, jellyfish, shrimp, sea cucumber, and soft coral. Although they rarely feed on plants, they can sometimes be seen chewing down on seagrass like some heavily armored sea cow. They were once quite common, and because they live in shallow water, divers regularly spot them during dives. However, they become much rarer and are now considered a threatened marine turtle globally. Black Softshell Turtle Nilsonia nilgricans, better known as the Black Softshell or Bostami Turtle, is a fascinating species with a rich history. But more on that later. First, let's talk about its size. With a length of up to 38 inches and weighing 120 pounds, it's definitely one of the heftier ones. It's lighter than the Australian flatback because of one unique fact. Its domed carapace is soft, a feature that gives the sea turtle outstanding maneuverability in the water. Here's another interesting fact. These turtles reach sexual maturity earlier when compared to other species. In fact, with a length of 16 inches, these guys are ready to mate and lay eggs. That size would put them at an age between 7 and 10 years old. They were once widely distributed, but they can only be found in a few places today. Many scientists believe they're virtually extinct in the wild, but others do suggest they may still be found in the Brahmaputra River. The only places where they can be found in significant numbers are temple ponds in Chittagong, Bangladesh, as well as Tripura and Assam. But why temples, though? Well, actually, it's a pretty fascinating tale. As the story goes, the turtles were brought to the temple pond in Chittagong by Hazrat Bayezid Bostami, an important religious figure from Iran who lived over a thousand years ago. In the 1800s, people came from all over to visit the temple to venerate the turtles, which they considered to be sacred. New Guinea Giant Softshell Turtle When it comes to freshwater turtles, the New Guinea Giant Softshell Turtle is a standout. Growing to 3.3 feet in length and weighing 260 pounds, it's among the largest in the world. There's actually two species of New Guinea giant softshell turtles, the northern Pelicellus signifera and the southern Pelicellus bibroni, but both are equally massive. As named, their most distinctive feature is their soft shells, which gives them the advantage of maneuverability in water, but also the disadvantage of making these turtles look like giant deflated ticks. As their name suggests, both can be found in New Guinea, but have been seen as far south as Australia. Clearly, these guys get around. It's not only their looks that are unique, but their behavior is somewhat unusual as well. Primarily carnivorous, they prey mostly on fish, crab, mollusks, and occasionally some seagrass. They're ambush predators, waiting patiently on the riverbed, waiting for a juicy morsel to idly pass them by. Unfortunately, they're being hunted for meat, bringing their future into question. The Hawksbill Sea Turtle Definitely a head-turner, the Hawksbill Sea Turtle can catch your attention by the shape of its beak alone. But that's not its only claim to fame. At a maximum length of 45 inches and weighing 280 pounds, they're eye-catchingly large. It developed its hooked beak for a reason, and although it looks like it can shear through anything like a hot knife through butter, the hawksbill is actually a very specialized feeder. While its strong beak allows it to make easy work of the shells of mollusks and obliterate even the prickly spines of the sea urchin, this animal prefers a softer food. They do dine on fish, but they prefer jellyfish as well as sponges. Now, this penchant for eating sponges is what makes the hawksbill awesome. You see, many species of sponges are toxic, which makes them unappealing to predators. But hawksbill sea turtles are immune to these toxins. Thus, the hawksbill has access to a virtually unlimited buffet. Unfortunately, even the abundance of food has not stopped the steady downfall of the worldwide hawksbill population. Plastics and oceans have killed hundreds if not thousands of hawksbills who mistake plastic bags for jellyfish and eat them. The IUCN currently lists them as a critically endangered species worldwide. Alligator Snapping Turtle Alligator Snapping Turtles are often called the dinos of the turtle world. Well, they certainly look the part. With their beak-like jaws, spike shells, dino-like tails, they definitely fit the description of a living fossil. 
They're also absolutely massive, growing to a maximum length of 32 inches and topping the scales at 220 pounds. They're giants among all other freshwater turtles living in North America. They rarely venture on land and can mostly be found in the rivers, canals, and lakes of the southeastern U.S., particularly in areas that flow into the Gulf of Mexico. They like places with plenty of tree and shrub cover, which females utilize to hide their nests. One of the most intriguing aspects of the alligator snapping turtle is its exceptional hunting technique. It uses its tongue, which sports a bright red, worm-shaped piece of flesh, as a lure to attract unsuspecting prey towards its tremendous jaws. Because of their formidable appearance and predatory nature, they have no natural predators other than humans. The Green Turtle Green turtles prove that our naming conventions need a bit of work. You see, despite being universally known as green turtles, they are, in fact, black. The green in their name comes from the greenish color of their subdermal fat, which makes me think that scientists chomped them up first before naming them. They can be found in both tropical and subtropical waters, particularly between the latitudes of 40 degrees south and 40 degrees north. They mostly stay in shallow waters close to the coastline, but make regular long trips, migrating between their mating sites and feeding sites. These turtles are absolute giants, achieving lengths of 47 inches. They can also weigh up to 441 pounds. Pretty impressive, especially when you factor in the fact that green turtles are pure vegetarians, living exclusively on algae and seagrass. I'm pretty sure you've heard people say that these turtles constantly cry. While they do excrete tears from their eyes, it's not because they're sad. They actually have an excretory gland at the corner of their eyes. These glands constantly excrete salt, which is a way for these turtles to adjust their water balance. Unfortunately, and this is becoming a recurrent theme now, these magnificent animals are classified as endangered because of threats such as open plastic pollution, getting caught in fishing nets, over-harvesting of their eggs, hunting, and of course, good old loss of habitat on their nesting beaches. Indian Narrow-Headed Softshell Turtle Endemic to India, the Indian Narrow-Headed Softshell Turtle, scientifically known as Chitra Indica, is one of those weird turtles with soft shells. It's also absolutely gigantic and can weigh up to 551 pounds and grow to 43 inches long. This species can also be found in Bangladesh, Pakistan, Nepal, Western Malaysia, and Myanmar. These turtles are typically found in large rivers with sandy substrates where they spend most of their days submerged. Now, that might sound like they have a wide habitat range, but that's so far from the truth. Their habitats are, in fact, somewhat irregular and restricted, with only small populations living in specific areas. Thus, like most of the other turtles featured in today's video, they're classified as an endangered species. These carnivores are ambush predators. They bury themselves in sand, exposing only their eyes, nose, and mouths while waiting for prey to swim by. And speaking of prey, they have a diet that includes fish, frogs, worms, crustaceans, and mollusks. And when they can, they've been known to eat small rodents as well. Loggerhead Turtle Loggerhead sea turtle holds the distinction of being the largest hard-shelled turtle in the world, often achieving weights of 1,200 pounds. Not only that, it's also known for its massive head and strong jaws, strong enough to crush conches, bivalves, and horseshoe crabs. Although those are by far its only prey. Well, at least hard shell prey. It also feeds on jellyfish, shrimp, sponges, and fish, and sometimes even goes vegetarian by eating seaweed and sargassum. What makes the loggerhead special is it's a keystone species. Basically means other animals around it rely on the loggerhead for survival. We're not talking about a few animals here either. There's actually hundreds of them, including crabs, barnacles, and algae that live on their shells. Here's another fascinating fact. When females are about to lay their eggs, they'll often return to the same beach they were born in, this time to deposit their eggs. They lay around 130 eggs during this time. In U.S. waters, they're the most common sea turtle species, but despite that, their population is on a steady decline, as per usual. Main culprits for this decline are pollution and shrimp trawling. Rapid urbanization has also wiped out most of their nesting areas, and all these have kept the loggerhead listed as threatened under the U.S. Endangered Species Act, a list that's been on since 1978. Leatherback Sea Turtle Also known as the Luth, Luth Turtle, or Leathery Turtle, the Leatherback Sea Turtle is the undisputed heavyweight of the turtle world. Some of them have been measured to reach 7 feet long and weigh almost 2,000 pounds. This species is named for its uniquely soft and flexible shell. They're endemic to all subtropical and tropical oceans and can even be found in the Arctic Circle, which is a rarity for all turtles, or even for reptiles in general. Their bodies are well adapted for swimming, and their teardrop-shaped body gives them the most fluid dynamics of any other sea turtle, and their flippers are long and clawless. They have to be excellent swimmers as they swim long distances between their feeding and breeding areas. These ocean carnivores have a particular liking for jellyfish, and they dive to great depths to find them. 
These turtles are known to dive as deep as a thousand meters and they can survive such a feat thanks to a unique blood system that keeps their body warmer than the surrounding water as well as a substantial layer of insulating fat. They're also exceptionally long-lived, surviving for 50 plus years out in the wild alone. See you all next time!